Hello. This video is designed for students who are just starting to learn how to sequence, especially if they're using Logic Pro 9. Um, I've designed this for my Year 8 Music Technology Pathway students as a way to introduce them to how to sequence and how to use this piece of music technology. We're going to try and recreate an existing track and try and make it as close as possible to the original. The track we're using is called Unorthodox by Wretch Free 2 featuring example. And I'm just going to play a bit of the original now so you can hear what it sounds like. Retro boy, you know we make examples. Your history's bruised. This is a future cut. Yeah, I got a good heart. I was born on beat, that's a good start. I had a feeling I was past, so now I feel like I'm the reason I should love. It's a great track to use because it's um, quite gritty, quite powerful, um, but it's also based on some very simple loops, which means you can record something short and then repeat them over and over again. What you're seeing on the screen is my rough version trying to sequence this tune. It includes an a cappella vocal. Um, which is the original um, singer, rapper, just on his own. And the rest of these instruments I have tried to program myself to sound like the original. Let's have a little listen to this. So it's always going to be nearly impossible to make it sound exactly the same, but the point is that by using your ears, um, you'll be picking out different parts of this track and trying to sequence it yourself. Um, the rest of this video is going to be broken down into parts where I look at each section, uh, the drums here, all the percussion parts, there's quite a few of those, um, the guitar parts, uh, some synthesizer parts, and some extra effects and a bass line also using a sample which I'll talk about in a separate video. Okay well let's now start building up our track bit by bit. Let's start with um, some simple percussion to show us where the time is. Now for the project setup please note that the tempo down here is 112 beats per minute. I have created a one bar loop. We're just going to work in one bar for now. We go to the plus sign and we create a new software instrument. We're going to call this tambourine. And I'm now going to find the tambourine sound by going to EXS24 stereo. From the selection screen, I'm going to go to factory, to drums and percussion. Number three for me, it may be different for you. Acoustic drum kits and studio tight kit. We need to find uh, the sound here that sounds like a tambourine, which I know is F sharp two. We're going to program what we call a 16th note tambourine rhythm, which will sound something like this. But I'm not going to play it in live, I'm, instead I'm going to use step time sequencing, which involves using the pencil tool. So let's use the pencil tool here, press command, and then go command and six, which brings up the piano roll. I'm now going to sequence the 16th note tambourine, which is on F sharp two. Use the pencil tool. Oh, sometimes you get it wrong. Let's get a bit closer down by one. There we go. Now I'm going to put in four of those, select them, hold alt, drag, hold, hang on to alt, don't let go. That copies the instrument. Select, hold alt, drag and drop. Well, it's 16th notes, but um, it doesn't sound very funky. That's because they're all the same volume. So I'm going to like to make some of them a bit louder. I think I'll make the ones that are on the main beats louder. How do I know what the main beat is? Well, you can see that this grid is designed um, into 16 different segments, but the first four of each 16 has a thicker line. Those are the main beats of the bar. To make a note louder, press Escape. 
and go down to Velocity Tool, shortcut, press number 9. Hold a note and push it up. Um, it's quite a good idea if you change lots of the colours because the more colours there are, the more interesting the rhythm is. You see that when you change the velocity, it also changes the colours. That's end of part one. But let's now create another track where we can put in some conga percussion. What I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate exactly the same track. So if you want to do the same instrument, you go to this one here. There's a little plus sign, but a little box. Call this percussion. The percussion I'm looking for are congas. Command and six. The congas you'll find round about C sharp, three, D3, those ones there. Shortcut for the pencil tool, command, Finally, I'm going to create the really big beat that comes in just after the intro. Um, I'm going to create a new track, software instrument. This time, I would like to choose a different drum machine called the Ultra Beat, which is down here, stereo. Uh, this rather complicated interface comes up, um, does lots of lovely things, but I'm not going to talk about it yet. Instead. I'm going to look at some of the uh, the presets that I've already programmed over here, drum kits and breaks remix kit. Load that up, and the sounds I'm looking for is a big kick drum and a snare drum. And I'm going to put in two snare drums at the same time. So that is C1. For the kick, snare drum uh, is D1 and E1. I'll show you what that looks like on the pencil tool. Command and six. Okay, so now we've got our three main um, parts of drumming for this track. 